How do you find motivation when you're struggling hard in life and feel mentally spent? Uh, you don't look for motivation. You're not going to find it. So fuck that shit. Say this is a comment. This is a topic we talk about a lot. So motivation's bullshit. It has nothing to do with whether or not you get what you need to get done because either you do it or you don't. You worked out, you didn't. You did your yoga, you didn't. You meditate, you didn't. It's very binary. I mean, meditation, you can kind of, I mean, meditation, the goal is to be in that mindset more often throughout the day. So you don't have to set aside time necessarily for meditation. Doesn't mean you don't, but you kind of carry and you can tap into that type of mindset throughout the day. So it just, it helps you be more present all the time. So you want to maintain that type of thought process during the day. That's the goal of meditating, but you get that over time by practicing regularly. You're able to tap into that, like focus on breath, focus on what you can control, but being mindful and being present allows you to offset and kind of ditch the shit that sucks. So if something you're dealing with, you realize I can't control this. This really isn't something that I can handle or that, that I can do anything about. If you are practicing your brain gains every day and you're more present throughout the day, you're able to look at that situation. Like, well, I can't do anything about that right now and kind of let that float away and allows you to focus on shit you can control. So you're not stressing and worrying about shit that doesn't have any kind of real impact on, you know, what you can handle. So if there's nothing, if you can't control it, then why are you stressing about it? It's, it doesn't make it as, a, as efficient. It, it exposes that kind of self-hypocrisy and just that self-sabotaging, setting up roadblocks in your own way. But I would, uh, you have to create good habits. I would, I would focus on starting a meditation practice, brain gains, five, 10 minutes every single day. You realize about discipline, you realize about executing, you realize that's when you have to step up, when it's challenging, when you don't feel like it, when it's not convenient. Those are the times that are going to forge and reinforce when it is easier. So you're never going to get those results if you're always waiting for motivation. You're never going to get results if you're always waiting for when you feel like it or when it's convenient. It's all about doing it when you don't feel like it because that is what fills in the gaps. Most people don't do things when they don't feel like it which is why they don't get results. The people that do it regardless and are consistent, relentless, regardless, and they never fucking quit. They're the ones that get results and everyone else says, well, well, I mean, that's, it's all, it's all, it, it, it's all genetics. It's all genetics. I mean, it's easy for you, but look at me. No, you just don't fucking put the, you didn't put the effort in. You didn't do it. You didn't go all in. You didn't prioritize everything the way that person A did. So you might look at me, oh, Papa Soy, have you ever been obese? I've definitely been way too high a body fat percentage. I have, I mean, I, I remember when I was bulking, I was over bulking. I realized I saw a picture and I'm like, man, you look chunky. I was just eating way too much food. I was trying to bulk too much. I was eating shit. This is years ago, like 15 years ago. I remember I was eating way too much crap. So once I realized, oh, I look like shit, I need to tighten things up. And I focus more on food quality over time. And that's progressed to this day when I've realized what's most important to stay consistent, what's most important to get results, what's most important, which comes down to the seven pillars. And if you're focusing on these aspects of your life, you will get amazing results, whether you're trying to bulk, whether you're trying to shred, whether you're morbidly obese, or you are a skinny mini, you can get amazing results. Young, old, male, female, black, white, pink, blue, purple, doesn't matter. You can get amazing results, but you have to focus on more than just what you're being eye fucked and ear fucked with on every social media platform. Everyone wants to focus on one thing, have a quick fix, shortcut. Everyone wants it faster. No one wants to actually put in the work relentlessly for decades. And shocker that most people don't get results. And it doesn't mean you can't get results fast or faster or quickly or promptly. It doesn't mean you can't start losing weight and wow, I look fantastic. And maybe in a few months, you start looking really amazing. Fine. So is that it? You're going to stop? Well, how, how fast can I see results? Never. Assume you're never going to see results. It's going to be a constant progression because as you get older, it's going to get harder to maintain. You keep on training. There's always a next level. So why? There's no end point. How quickly can I build muscle? Who fucking cares? You're going to do this for the rest of your life. So it doesn't matter. That's why you can't worry about that shit. That's why you can't worry about an actual goal because it's irrelevant. You're going to do something else after. So start with that mindset and what happens, happens.